Known to influencer David Banner is a Grammy-nominated rapper and producer best known for hits such as Get Like Me and Play. Recently, he's been making headlines for his thoughts on the Occupy Wall Street movement. David Banner! How you doing? Welcome yeah. to What's Trending. Thank you. That's like Thank my you. Oprah introduction. Okay. David Banner! <laughs> no. Um, so let's start with the article you wrote for Black Enterprise mm -hmm. on Occupy Wall Street. How did that come about and why did you decide to speak out? Um, well, a couple things happened. I had just wrote an article on finances in, in, in urban population in America mm -hmm. and um, a lot of different sites picked it up. It had really started blowing up. If y'all want to check it out, y'all can check out blackenterprise.com. And from that, they asked me to write something about Occupy because um, I went to Occupy New York and I went to Occupy LA. And um, it was more from a, a, a student standpoint. I wanted to learn, I wanted to be involved, mm. you know, because for so long, ever since college, I had just been pushing Americans and people who were influenced by my music to be, become more involved. And they said, write about it. Here's your opportunity. And I did it. And what did you see? What you know, did you take away from it? What I took away from it is that, you know, the thing that I admire the most about the Occupy movement was the thing that I questioned the most at first is, was that, you know, there wasn't any divine, I mean, no, any defined plan. Mm -hmm. But then when I, when, when, when I got an opportunity to be out there, I realized everybody has their different qualms with the American system right now. You know, you may be unemployed because you're female. I may be unemployed because I'm young and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> um, whatever the situation may end up being, there's a problem yeah. and, you know, there's an underlying problem in America, just the greed, period. And I think people are tired and I think by defining their goals in the beginning, you would separate people because they'd say, well, my problem is bigger than yours and your problem is this. And then they would start fighting internally. And I think the Occupy movement, they, they realized that and they said, we're just going to show up and show people that there is a problem and that young American and Americans, period, can stand up for themselves. And so what about the UC Davis uh, I was, occurrence? I, what do you think about that? I'll say this, you know, so many people in America are surprised <gasps> because what they saw, you know, at Davis, but the thing as, as a young, um, as a young African American is that's something that we see in our community all the time. And mm -hmm. that's, you know, it's a big surprise to people now, but look at Oakland. Look at the things that's been happening in Oakland for the last two or three years. Look at what's been happening in Mississippi for decades. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not as much of a surprise to my population, but what I think ends up happening, this Occupy movement, there is so many people now who are a part of this and it's so viral now that, you know, we, gotta, we have to be honest with ourselves. In most cases, what they call the 1% of the people who also who own mainstream media. So they have the opportunity to turn certain things off. I'm glad you guys didn't. But, you know, with, 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 with the internet and, and with the trending topics, people, can, people have an opportunity to post it themselves and, and cause a, com I mean, and create a community. But is it gonna create real change in Congress and at the White House? Well, w w what I'll say is it's really up to the people. You know, because I think what America has forgotten is that America is, is, is built by the people. And, and these people who are making all of this money are making this money off the backs of people. So if they find out a way, if they find a way to either hit somebody's pocket or, 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 or cause enough I guess hoopla in America that people there will be change. And you have spoke in Congress before in yes, 2007. I have. Yes, I have. And so about hip hop, how do you think hip hop and the attitudes have changed since then? Um, I don't know if the attitudes is, has changed as much, but what I kind of say about what what I can say about hip hop is hip hop has been affected in the same way that America has been uh, affected. There is really no middle class. You know, that's the same thing that's happening in hip hop. You know, either you're selling 20,000 copies or you're selling a million copies. You know, those people who are selling 500,000, 300,000, 800,000, that community is sort of depleted now. You know, and it's the same thing with America. Either you're struggling every day or you're a multimillionaire or a billionaire. So the thing is, I think hip hop is a direct reflection of what's going on in America. And I said that in Congress, I said, you know, hip hop is sick, but hip hop is sick because America is sick. Interesting. Were you surprised that Jay Z and Kanye West came out 
to Occupy Wall Street, and uh, the Occupy the Streets T-shirts. Uh, well, this is what I say. I, I, I really don't. I really don't like to speak on what other people yeah, do. I, I, I would like to more speak about you know me and the reason why I came yeah. out there. I, I think what happens is, is that different people have their own motives, mm -hmm. but I can only speak on uh, you know for myself. Yeah, 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 definitely. So you've been doing a lot of commercial music lately. Yes, I have. So where are you headed with your career? You're gonna be scoring a lot. Well, I'm I'm scoring movies. Uh, I'm actually now shooting a, a movie right now called. Um, I'm shooting a movie right now called Flight 7500. Oh, cool. um, I just finished uh, commercials for Gatorade, Mercedes, Benz, Conagra. I'm up right now. I can't speak about the movie that I'm up for, but um, I'm, I'm up to score one of the biggest movies that's coming out next year. Um, I'm going to actually do whatever it takes right now to keep myself financially stable yeah, and definitely. keep myself a hey. trending topic so that I can be one of the people who can speak you know, for the undertone and the underbelly of America. And um, I just thank everybody, all of my fans out there that, that, that are on Twitter, that's on Facebook. Uh, yeah. You can hit me on Twitter, The Real Banner. Oh yeah, we'll be promoting it. <laughs> well, speaking of Facebook, we actually have a question from Facebook. Right. Eric Romer from Facebook. Mm -hmm. What are his thoughts on musicians supporting political movements with their time and money versus support through the content of their music? Which is more important and is there a disconnect? Well, I, I think both are important. Um, for me, Music is a business mm -hmm. at the end of the day. You know, I can be as political as I want to in my music. If, it's not, if, if I don't find a way to make my politics hot, it doesn't matter anyway, because mm -hmm. I don't think you should compromise your music for the actual message. I think if it's political, if it's sexual, if it's fun, it has to be hot regardless. But I think, you know, you really show the texture of the woman or, or the man when you put your money up. Mm -hmm. at the end of the day because you can sing a song you can talk about occupy because it's the hard it's the hot thing to do but can you make sure that the people out there have books can you make sure that the people have clothing can you make sure that you know you're taking care of your community and giving back in your community at the end of the day we can talk about it but people can't eat or keep the lights on in any movement without finance put your money where your mouth is exactly there you go well thank you so much for thank being for here today me. and sharing your thoughts you have such a beautiful smile look at those white <laughs> teeth pearly white you can keep up with david banner on twitter as you mentioned at the real banner and at facebook.com slash david banner